Hey, it's Nathan with crazyeyemarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna look at the community feature in ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, community is basically like forums or a Facebook group. It lets your customers chat or you chat and post messages and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we just come into sites and community and ClickFunnels had already created a community for us to look at. So we have a group right here, which is a getting started group. And within that group, there are topics. So we have five different topics that people could go ahead and post within. Now, in my experience, this is a lot of locations for somebody to post in. I usually only try and have like one location for somebody to post in. Now I might have some other groups or topics based off of products. So if they buy like the Facebook course product, well then I might have a group unique to that. But having a bunch of just general groups is typically a bad idea unless you have a ton of traffic. But if you're trying to get any sort of engagement, the least amount of categories or topics likely the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out of here real quick and proceed. And we'll go ahead and create a new group add new group and I'm gonna go ahead and call it just general chit chat. And you could go ahead and add a card image for your group. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick just so you can see what it looks like. I'm just gonna use a stock photo chit chat. And we could also use an emoji if we want to. Let's go ahead and throw in this thing, a kissy face. Now we have different permissions so we can hide from non-members. So if enabled, this group will not be visible in the sidebar unless the customer belongs to one of the topics within the group. And so this brings up a good point that I should have addressed. So you can give people access to these different groups and topics based off of the products and services that they buy from you. So that way people are automatically given access to the various groups and topics that they have purchased. So it's nice and automated and everything like that. So in this case, if you wanna hide this group from anybody that does not belong to it, you can go ahead and turn that on. Same concept with the topic. So if enabled, customers will only see topics in the sidebar for which they joined already. So if you want to hide anything that people don't have access to, you could turn that on. Automatically add members to new topics within this group. So if they're added to the group, they'll be added to all the topics within the group. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on since it's just a general chit chat group and I want everybody to go ahead and, and have access to these topics. And post approval is not required. Would you like to override? So if you select yes, you can override this setting for topics within the groups. And I don't wanna to have to do post approval cause I'm not worried about spam or anything like that. But if you have a lot of issues with spam, you could go ahead and enable this. I'll go ahead and create the group now. And now I need to ha add a new topic. So I'll add a new topic. And I'm gonna call this one chat here. And we can see that it's in the group general chit chat. We can see the path that people can follow upgrade URL. So this is if somebody does not have access to this particular topic, I could send them to a sales page where they could go ahead and buy the product in order to access this particular group. But this one is a general chat. So I want everyone to have access to it. So I'm not going to have an upgrade URL, but if you have a private topic that requires a purchase of a product, then you could go ahead and link to your sales page here. You could add a, add a card image for this as well. I'm just going to choose an emoji. We'll do this one right here. We have access so anyone in your community can see and join this topic. Yes, I want that. But there's also private, so members can only be added by you or by purchasing through your upgrade URL, lock screen visible to all members, or you can have a secret group. Members can only be added by you or by purchasing through your upgrade URL is not visible to non-members. So a few different options depending on what level of privacy and access you want to grant people. Then we have permission, so allow members to create posts. Yes, hide posts from main feed. I wanna select that as no, because I want all posts to show. Post approval is not required. Would you like to override? No, I don't. So we'll go ahead and create topic. And now I can see all the posts that have been posted within this topic, and there aren't any right now because you know no one's posted anything. So I'm actually gonna go back real quick because we need to go ahead and add a post. So let's back out and back out. And I wanna go ahead and open up my community link right here. And so I'm visiting the community as a default contact. So the default contact does not have privileges to interact with the community. Click the button below to create a new contact with the same email you use to log in. Once created, this will be considered your admin contact. So I need to go ahead and click this button right here. And it's giving me an error message. So I'm gonna have to do this manually, but hopefully if you did it, you, you went straight through. But if not, this is how to manually do what it's asking. So. I'm actually gonna come over to contacts and I'm gonna go ahead and add a contact and I'm gonna go ahead and add myself. So I'm gonna enter my contact info and this is the same email address that I used to create my ClickFunnels Pro account. So make sure you use the same email address as your ClickFunnels account while you're creating this new contact. 
Then I'm gonna enter my name and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and create contact. And, and so there we go, there's my contact information. Let's go back to the community area community and we'll go ahead and open it up and now I'm in the customer dashboard but I want to go to my community here and I'm in the my community page and I can see right here general chit chat so if I click in there and then I see the topic the chat here topic so I'll click in there and then I could go ahead and write a post so this is the first post hi I'm excited to be here in the community and post and so there we go we have our first post in the community and then people could go ahead and comment on that post or like the post and so on so quite similar to how like a facebook group would work and if people come out to the my community page you'll see all of the content that is going on in all the communities that they are within so we have the general public group with the public topic of chat here and then what i would probably do is come back to community and I would go ahead and create a group for training. So add new group. So this would be the training group. And in here I'd put a different topic for every course that I have that I'm selling. So that's the idea behind this group. And I'd go ahead and create various topics and so on. And when you create your products, you can go ahead and connect them to the different topics that you've created. But hopefully you now understand how the groups and topics work and what it looks like over here and how people can interact with it. Finally, if you come over here to community settings, you can go ahead and update your information here. So this could be the crazy uh, media community and make this community private. So that means that it will not be visible to visitors. Only people that are invited or buyers will be able to view. So if you don't want any random person being able to access the group, you could go ahead and turn this on. But if you want the whole world, so even search engines to be able to search through your group or your community, you could go ahead and turn this off. And it makes it so that way the different groups and topics can be searchable. Now, if you make them private or secret, then they won't be searchable. However, your public facing groups would be accessible to everybody. So you may wanna turn this on or off depending on what you're trying to accomplish with this community feature. And then if you wanna send membership emails, if you want to require post approvals and a logo and so on. So reasonably self-explanatory stuff. I'll go ahead and update the group. And so now I can see that this group is public. So let me go ahead and copy this real quick. I'm gonna open a whole different browser and I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the community. And I can see without even logging in that somebody has been here and posted their first post. Hi, I'm excited to be in the community and this Nathan person liked it. And then I have to log in to like it myself. And if I wanna comment, I have to join the conversation. So I could go ahead and log in or sign up. And here people could go ahead and sign up to access your form. So now I have like a public facing form and depending on the settings that I have on training, random public facing people may or may not be able to access it. And I'm hoping all this is making some sense. I think it's pretty intuitive once you actually start getting into it. And if you watch the products video that I have, it'll be helpful in showing you how to connect your products to the different groups and topics that you have created. And if I didn't cover something that you're hoping to see, don't worry, I have a bunch of ClickFunnels 2.0 videos, just go to my channel. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out crazymarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.